Now as we have the input files variable with us, let's move on to get transaction data and handle the transaction mechanism. Uncomment it because we have disabled it earlier. Now let's go into it and open this particular file. So here is the file. Just go to this and change the transaction type to array of strings and this will be changed to string. Okay. Now just go back to main and try to change this particular things. Transaction data is transaction data which is available in the main which comes from the initialization state and then change the transaction item type to string why to string is something that we have to discuss okay fine so because because we are sending something into it this transaction item okay there's no error we have to just cut and copy paste it okay there will be no error it's because of the cache issue sometimes okay fine so because we know we are getting some value called transaction data from this and transaction data will contain something as an array of values right which is input files has the comma input files jack comma so on the task here in the get transaction data is to send this particular thing first and process it and then come back to this particular folder then process it and so on so this comes at zero index so to access this we have to have transaction data of zero will give us this particular value and to access the second one we have to use transaction data of one and so on with this in mind let's go back to get transaction data and get transaction data this is not valid over here because it relates to orchestrator and we are not using orchestrator here okay as we get right off that now delete this particular condition that we have over here and then take in transaction item because we know the transaction number is initialized with one in the RE framework so in this we have one as this particular thing is passed on to get transaction data through the arguments so here we have this one in it when one is less than r equal to in so whatever transaction data we have it's io transaction data so that that is something to which we have passed a transaction data to here transaction data is assigned to io transaction data right so in this we will have the whole list by whole list I mean this so dot count should give me the total number of elements in it so because for the first time we have one in it one is always less than or equal to four so it will just assign the first value to output out transaction item we have to assign the first element to do that
sorry to do that come back to this and use IO transaction data of in transaction number minus one what do you think this will lead to there's nothing but this particular value right transaction data transaction data of zero so right now the default value is one one minus one is zero so first time we are trying to fetch the first element which is the first folder right so this is how it works because its condition is true it will go to this and it will proceed further to the main if we reach the upper limit which is four things available over here that will go to the other part and we have to assign a value to it which is nothing just change the name of this particular activity yeah so that's done we have built the mechanism which will handle the transactions available and this time we have a collection an array of strings as an input to the RE framework go back to it and you see there is some error over here let's go back to this okay so here are some errors because the transaction item available in this is a queue item just ignore this so with this we know that we have handled the initialization we have handled the get transaction data cool